Hey everybody, it's your wonderful turtle monkey here. We have the Wii Box One Desktop Pro. It's a mouthful. I'm just gonna call it Wii Box from now on. So Wii Box is a great, great 3D printer from my experience so far, and it's the only one I've used. So take that as you will. And it comes with awesome little tool bag. You have Allen wrench heads, uh, a regular. What is this? I'm not sure what size wrench it is. Uh, it comes with a, a razor blade. These are my scissors, separate. Uh, it did come with a awesome spatula or scraper, and what was it called? Uh, big. They're big tweezers, is what I can say. And there's my normal tweezers, but they were like this big. They're great for cleaning it for the daily maintenance and what have you. But I don't know where they went. I think my daughter ran off with them because they look shiny. I don't know. Uh, it's confusing. This was one of the supports. Uh, when it comes in, you'll have, I think, four total on the top to keep it from jostling around. Keep the uh, printer head or the extruder nice and calm. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that well. I got my white light on it. It is also 3D printed, so it's pretty awesome that they're making their own supports. Uh, I like it. Um, what I've made so far, uh, as you can tell, is like a little memory card holder stand. Uh, grab some of these things. Just some random little stuff, a little heart-shaped box for a friend. Uh, they asked me to print them up. Uh, a ring fits just fine. This right here is by far my favorite little thing to make. It's uh, If I bring up the software, hopefully you can see it. If not, I'm sorry. Here's the software it uses, uh, Replicator G. This is one of the example things you can print. It's like a, I use this as a test to see if, uh, if I'm changing out the raft bed, which is this is a really big one, but that's a raft bed. It's just what whatever you're printing sits on. So you can peel it up easy. I use this because it takes up very little plastic or your filament and it prints real. But it also helps you test print. So, here are examples. I printed this. I don't know if you can see it that well since it's white. I'll try to put my hand behind it. This was one of the very first test prints I made. Once I got everything working properly, and it was way off. Um, it should look like this. It's a 20, mil 20 millimeter cube. It's supposed to be printed just like this. So this told me that after doing some research that my X axis was slipping or messed up, which it was, and uh, I couldn't figure it out how to fix it. You're supposed to tighten in the belt. Well, it's in the back of the book, which was kindly uh, mentioned to me by their customer support. The customer support for the Weebox is the best product customer support I've ever had. The lady sent me detailed information in the manuals, uh, sent me software that I needed for this, that the current software wasn't exactly re uh, communicating properly. Like, hands down, best customer support I've ever had was this company's. Um, I'm trying to think what else came with this thing. Either way, I started printing stuff, uh, so I got everything lined up somewhat. It's still a huge pain. I printed some larger things, but I've, I've given them out already or let family members have them, so on. But pretty simple. Let's turn it on. Your hits, a little chime. This should connect. As you hear. And uh, I'll sh uh, I have a time lapse of me printing this, so I'll, I'll show that here in a second. But other than that, like, I think it works great. Once you get everything like kind of lined up and communicating properly, it works it works wonderful so hope you guys enjoyed this quick little uh, review video it's a great product it's fairly expensive but all 3d printers are fairly expensive um, but I like this one it's for my first 3d printer I like it I just need to work and tune it some more but uh, I give it a 5 out of 7 it's pretty good the customer service is definitely a 7 out of 7 they're amazing but it also comes with all the software you need the manual book is really well detailed and it's in English. It's proper English. It's not all jacked up. I've had some manuals where you can tell somebody that doesn't speak English normally wrote it. So, really nice. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, also, before I forget, let's move the camera over here. If I can reach. There's the filament. Came with it. Uh, huge roll. Came with a little stand and everything. So, it works great. Not kind of burnt through it. Not yet. Uh, pretty awesome. Set the camera down if I don't flop around. Pretty much it. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, in the time last video, you'll see me create one of these. So, hope you guys enjoy it. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hit that like, subscribe button. I will have uh, future prints. Actually, hold on. Do this. I have to unplug my camera. Sorry, it's shaky. I'm sorry. I apologize. Actually, I broke this. I printed a new one. But the mount I'm using 
is printed from this printer. Actually, I actually broke this little part. So I gotta make a new one. But it was a test print and it worked out great. It still slides in there and holds it. I'm gonna plug it back in. The power helps hold it in there. But I'm gonna, I printed this one out because I have, I have GoPro cases, obviously. But this will let me do time lapse. So for future prints, I'm gonna be time lapsing them and post them on my YouTube page. So hit that subscribe button so you can see those come out. I have a whole gamble of stuff. Right at my folder. I seem to do it this way. Of designs to print out. I don't know. I hope you can see that. If not, I'm sorry. Oh crap! Where'd you go? I have a whole bunch of designs I want to print out. Stuff, some stuff larger than others. Uh, but we're gonna really test this thing out. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like it. Uh, link will be in the description below to go see if you want to purchase one of these. And I'll do my best to try and get you guys a discount like I always do with all my products. So stay tuned, guys.